San Jose police say a woman drove away from a crash in San Jose only to get into another hit and run collision just minutes later. One of those crashes turned out to be fatal. Tonight, the woman is facing felony hit and run charges and vehicular manslaughter. KTVU's Ann Rubin is live at the scene with the investigation and the city's growing concern about traffic deaths. Ann. Yeah, the two accidents here happened on Center Road about 1500 feet apart. Authorities say the driver managed to pick up speed in between them, making the impact of that second crash much more severe. San Jose police say this woman, 71 year old Lynn Nguyen, was responsible for two hit and runs in a matter of minutes. One of them proved to be fatal. Things just get so much worse if people leave the scene of a crash in this instant. It caused a fatality of an innocent person who was just traveling on our roadways. That innocent person, 35 year old Hillary Lopez of Fremont, who was pronounced dead at a nearby hospital. <laughs> Authorities say Nguyen was fleeing the scene of a previous accident just 1,500 feet away when her BMW rear ended Lopez's Toyota on Center Road near Wool Creek. And then Nguyen took off again. After the collision, the driver of the vehicle, the suspect who was later arrested, continued driving northbound until the vehicle became completely inoperable. This was the 58th traffic fatality in San Jose this year. That's nearing the city's record of 60 fatalities set in 2015, the same year its Vision Zero program was created. There's absolutely an acknowledgement that this problem is growing in scale. Authorities have been trying to understand the numbers. About 70% of these crashes happened in the dark. 36% of those who died have been pedestrians and 45% of the fatalities have been on the city's priority safety corridors, ones they've earmarked for action. So we know we're still looking at the right set of streets. If we can address safety on those streets, we'll be addressing a big part of the problem. Over the last two years, the city council funded a series of quick build projects in problem areas, as well as an aggressive marketing campaign. But officials say it will take time to see the benefit of their work. These are trends. They take years to build up. They take years to, to reduce. The suspect in this most recent case, Nguyen, suffered only minor injuries and has been booked into the Santa Clara County Main Jail. Christina? And, Ru and Ruben, reporting live for Science in San Jose, and thank you.